If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. So recently there's been a bit of a debate about the new Tektronix scope which has come out. So it's uh, just been announced, hasn't been named yet. However, there's been some speculation on the UV blog forum and uh, as you can see on this page here, there is a thread about it. So this is uh, obviously a bit of a discussion about the new scope which is coming out which looks quite interesting. I mean there's been some teaser pictures of the actual unit coming out. And there's some more there and there's some posts here from Dave and so on. So what I wanted to show is a few other things here. So this is the actual video they've, they've published. So let's just look at this. We'll just briefly watch it, very briefly. Hope it doesn't give me any strikes or really. anything. I think it's fair use, isn't it? Giving them more publicity, they'll probably like that. Yeah, what can we create? A budget scope everyone can buy. Is that what they need? Yeah, a scope of all the features for $30, that'd be what we need. Hundreds of interviews. It's been a good point made on the EV blog form, actually. Let's pause that there. The Dave asked, well, why didn't I ask an EV blog form? It's like the biggest one, biggest outlet there is for the engineers worldwide. It's the way it's like. Uh, it does make sense. Why wasn't it asked for feedback on the EV blog form? Uh, because that would have been the ideal place to ask people, wouldn't it? Hmm. Who knows? Now this, for some reason, this pit here reminded me of something. Um, let me go into this thread. I actually posted on the thread here. Where is it? It just made me think of something I'd seen, this thing here. For some reason, it just reminded me of this, where you got this kind of interesting soldering going on. I've seen something similar to this, eh? like the old stock photos, you know, where it's just... Because you got the logic board here being worked on. Good old logic board. Mm, yeah, okay, keep watching. For some reason that triggered me. And look, there's for some reason there's a painted logic board with no CPU, no RAM slots. Uh, no graphics cards. What are they doing with that exactly? What's what's this? I mean, why is there a white painted PC logic board sitting there with nothing in it? What? Anyway, moving on. Oh wow! Yeah. Now this is interesting. Look at this. You can see there's four sets of these. So you've got eight of these and four connectors. Now, is this part of the scope? Is it? It might be. There's been speculation at eight channels. Future scopes. Does look cool, what I've seen, you know? Like that looks nice. Touch screen and Yeah. Now we pause this here. So you've got six channels showing up on the bottom here, right? Three, four, five, six. Obviously one and two on, on in this case. It shows a colour palette, custom colours. And here it lists eight options, one through to eight. So it's looking like it's an eight channel scope. And that's been speculated on the forum there as well, based on that color palette. Yeah. Lots of B-roll kind of stock footage. Yeah. So that's their promo video, and I think it looks pretty interesting. And obviously, here's the web page which shows 
you know, their promo stuff for that as well. Find out more. Yeah, well, I, the thing that amazes me about the Tetronic stuff is that it's so damn expensive. All right. Now, in here was comments about from Dave. He, he noticed that they're, they're using the same structure for the web pages. I forgot where it is now. It's in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's Dave's blog here. All right. So he just tried some different web addresses and found that. Okay, so by going to that web address, he found this page. All the other ones for turn 404 errors, so they're not actually web pages. So this one, it says that. It's a login page. Hmm. So I create an account, and when I am logged in with a create account, I get this, access denied. So even though you logged in, you still can't see that page. So, yeah. Now one actually interesting thing I discovered here, see this bit here? Let's just go randomly to a page. Here we go. All right. So, whatever you put in the address bar up here, it feeds into the page and then displays it in the page. All right, let's make that bigger so you can see it. Look, the text I'm putting up here is in here. So, that's a bit of a security flaw. Tech, you might want to sort of not do that because that opens you up to cross site scripting attacks where you can insert code into the web page by having an invalid address specified by another site, you know, a bad link with a bit of JavaScript in it or something, and pop, it comes up on the page, built into the website, and you get cross site scripting. Not good. So I thought I'd mention that. So, yeah, Series 4 is what the believed name is going to be, the 4 series. So, be interesting to see what comes out of that. But the prices I've seen, I mean, apparently some of the other scopes have been having their prices cut from the Tektronic series. They're doing some specials or clearing out stock, ready for the new one. But the prices are, I'm actually amazed at the price of Tektronic scopes. It's incredible. Compared to what else is out there, they're huge. You know, of course, I'm comparing it against the sort of stuff that I would buy, which is certainly not high-end, bloody commercial-grade scopes like that. So, But even then, you think, well, if you want to go to a bigger market, make more money, you make the price cheaper so more people can buy it. Some more units. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.